Welcome to Rat Rod Television, your home for thrust, lust, and rust. We're going to take you on a journey into backyards and garages where Junkabilly mechanics grab and fab their own cars from whatever they can find. There are no rules in the old school. You can win the brand new Lincoln Power MIG welder in the Rat Rod Build Competition. Throttle down, boys, and get ready for some hair-bending automotive entertainment. Let's go. Hi, I'm Laura Hollenberger, and welcome to another episode of Rat Rod TV. We have a great show lined up for you today. We're going to show you the premiere of the Rat Rod magazine build in Minnesota, along with a preview of Aaron Krupka's 57 Oshkosh cement truck build. Oshkosh record. Whatever. Then we'll join Rat Rod Ricky in the studio garage to reveal this week's surprise winner. Aaron, is there anything you want me to do? Yes, there is. Now let's see some world-class Junkabilly Grab and Fab. We started the build with an early 90s S10 frame that we pinched 20 inches in the front so the 31 DeSoto body would fit. All the unnecessary existing mountings were removed. It took a couple of days to fabricate the 2x4 box steel and tweak the frame where we needed it. I don't remember how much we paid for the frame, but it wasn't much. As you can see, the BFH came in handy. When the frame was cleaned up enough, the team set to channeling. The body was originally a four door. We cut her down to two. Normally you do this real precisely, but we're just whacking it out. <laughs> we wanted a low, mean stance, so we cut six inches out of the firewall mounts to set the body real low on the frame. The body was stiffened and braced with two at the doors and one across the quarter inch glass section. We used eight mounting bolts on half inch rubber pads. Then we adjusted the doors with new latches. The body was donated by Matt Petrovic, a member of the Peckerheads Car Club. The cost? A few magazines. We set out to build a car that was unique, that any Joe Schmo could build, in his garage, on a budget, with whatever was around. I need to get that other freaking helmet. Test run. We wanted it to be safe, durable, and different. And I think we pulled it off. You're in for a big surprise when you see what we did with the bed in the next segment. The motor is a small block Chevy 350 built by Mora Motorworks. We paired it up with a 700R4 train. We used stock dished pistons with mild porting and mill, an old Edelbrock intake and a Holley 600 pumper. It dynoed at 263 horses. Respectable, considering we're running unleaded because it's cheap and that's the rat rod way. Use some Shapiro steel for cross member and Good to go, then we'll slap some rubber on it to get the ride height right, and then we'll throw body on it and start channeling it. Those pictures you took me last night sitting in the car? Yeah. Proud of, turn all the <laughs> you have to the seals, you gotta hit the button, you kinda go. I did that, and the green thing comes on. Don't touch the dial yet. The chop, bed fab, and install, and maiden voyage are all coming up next. your video and you might see it on Rat Rod TV. I'm looking for a 1930 Ford truck and I'm going to build it myself. If you know where I can get one? Let me know. I might not look like it, but I'm pretty good with tools. Wait till you see what the guys did with the extent of the tour rat. Stick around, it's coming up next. 
Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Chicago Pneumatics, pull the trigger. Ray Vestas, the best in brakes. Seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, eat my shift. Cop cams, go faster. By Trailershopper.com, buy, sell, and trade. By SummitRacing.com and by Full Contact Wrench. Grip it, don't strip it. Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not going to get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rat Rodder's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr and pull the trigger on one of these babies. Lock in high performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layered leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket. New from Axel, the GMHEI Corrected Distributor Cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug-and-play fit with ultra-high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI Corrected Distributor Cap. New from Axel. This segment of Rat Rod TV is brought to you by KillBillet.com. In case you haven't heard, you can watch a full episodes of Rat Rod TV at RatRodTV.com. While you're there, check out the Rat Mart and pick up one of our official hats. We could use the money. Now, let's get back to the build. The Tour Rat build was commandeered by our friend Brian Daigle paint and fab guru from Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. He brought his out-of-the-box vision to the project, tried to capture what we believe is the rat rod spirit. Use what you've got, build something safe and reliable you can drive the wheels off of, build it the way you want. Great, eh? The build had a two-month deadline and a $6,000 budget. While we met our deadline, we ended up a couple hundred bucks over a budget. Not a big deal. The purpose of the Tour Rat was, well, for it to earn its name by, that's right, touring. Since the unveiling of the Tour Rat, we've gotten a lot of great feedback. People love the fins, they love the steel, they love the box, they love, you know, the body, the, the grill, they love all that stuff. The one little bit of negative feedback that we've gotten has been about the independent front suspension. Let me put this to rest right now. Yes, we did it this way on purpose. We had two months and six thousand dollars. We didn't have enough time and money to build a custom frame. We just couldn't do it. So, we used what we had. We had this S10 frame. This thing is going to be durable. It's going to drive nice. Is it perfect? No. But you know what? This thing is so smooth down the road. You know, look, maybe the next one will do the nice custom frame. But for this Tour Rat 2011, yes, we used the independent front suspension. And you know what? It's cool. It's ours. It drives nice. Those iconic fins came from a 1960 Plymouth wagon. Oftentimes, people think they're from a caddy. We used 20 gauge sheeting with tons of plug welds to give us that industrial look we were going for with the bed. Why the oversized bed? Well, it's a tour rat. We need to haul stuff in it. This thing had to be as functional as it is cool. We kind of blew our creative styling wad on this one. The 
matching grill and headlights from a 1936 Hudson Terraplane. We had to chop the bottom of the grill to get it to fit right, but eventually we had our way. Thanks to our friends at Shapiro Steel in St. Louis, we were able to carry that industrial look over from the bed to the interior. We used sheeting for a solid floor, a solid shroud, and then we decked out the rest of the interior in expanded steel. We also used expanded steel to cover that roof. Give us the old tour of the tour rat. We started with a 1931 DeSoto four-door sedan. We cut it in half. Lost a set of doors, channeled, chopped, put on S10 frame. 1936 Hudson Terraplane grill, headlight assemblies. Small block Chevy. 700R four rod overdrive transmission. Don't you just love those fins? Frank and wrenching over the top. Cool truck, guys. Your magazine's not too shabby either. If you haven't seen it, click on our link at ratrodtv.com. We'll get back to the build after these messages from our friends at Chicago Pneumatic and Full Contact Wrench. Hey, Aaron, you have one of these? Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not going to get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rad Rodder's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr and pull the trigger on one of these babies. Rip it. Don't strip it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it. Don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Rip it. Don't strip it. Don't you just love this stuff? It's like a testosterone soap opera with guys blowing smoke, burning rubber, pumping jacks. Check out the Speedo when the magazine boys take the tour rat out for its first spin. It's so Plymouth and old. Then we're gonna take a sneak peek at Aaron's 57 Oshkosh. Hang on to your shifter. Big tires, of course. 1960 Plymouth station wagon made into a pickup box. Utilize all the lighting, back bumper, tailgate. All right, let's go into the interior here. What are the goodies, Brian? Show us the goodies. Uh, 75 Cadillac tilt telescopic steering wheel, 1960 Plymouth. Gauge cluster. And the steel. Lots of steel. Lots of expandable steel. Mooney gauges or Mooney tack. Fuel gauge now, too, I see. That's good. All Bomber right. seats. Thanks to Jamie. Bombers. That handmade seat company. All right. Thank you. <laughs> will take off from Minnesota in September and hit cities like Lexington, Kentucky, St. Louis, Missouri, Nashville, Tennessee, Indianapolis, Indiana, and so on. It's already logged considerable miles up here in Minnesota, and it'll log a hell of a lot more before the car is retired for the season. Now, let's take a look at the Oshkosh before Aaron tore it down. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada at Aaron Krupka's garage. 
We're going to check out his 1957 Oshkosh cement truck build. Check it out. Look at this. Aaron. Rick. How you doing, buddy? Good today. Aaron, this is one bad <laughs> truck. Where did you get this? In Apple Valley, California on eBay. And, and that the auction ended at 1333 and I have no idea why he had such an odd number on it but it was a buy it now price and that I bought it this is 1957 Oshkosh it has five windows so it'd be a five window Oshkosh truck I have the skins for the door I just had to take the skin off to be able to chop it so this is 34 international I took five inches out of it these are um, nails from the hardware store. This is 34 Chevy, one ton. This is an air ride cab for a um, tractor truck. This is a Model A front spring. This is 1989 Chevy step van. Those are some heavy duty brakes. This is 2004 F350. So this is Ford, this is Chevy. I gotta get them to work together. The motor, this is motor. 1993 um, Cummings, the 5.9. This is the um, mechanical injection. I got an air compressor on the motor. I got the um, power steering pump on the air compressor. This is off, the wheel and column are off of a wheel loader. The gauges are original 57. The bed here is 1925T. The bag, the leaf spring, I guess you'd call it, or the bar, this is Freightliner, and I would say 1997 Freightliner, and that was including the shock. The adapters here are going from the uh, 8 lug up to the 10 lug. That was um, uh, an aftermarket part that you can buy, or I guess in my case, have made. The leveler came off of a Freightliner also. It would be a newer Freightliner and it makes it so the more weight I put on it, the more air is added to the bags. The air tanks came off that M35A2 also, the military truck. The wheels, these are a super single wheel. It, um, it's in a replacement of a dually wheel on a semi truck. My name's Aaron Krupka, and this is my 1957 five window Oshkosh Wrecker. Oh my gosh, Oshkosh, can't wait to see it finished. I'm Laura Hollenberger, and I've had a blast hosting today's episode of Rat Rod TV. Your home for thrust, lust, and rust. Rat Rod Ricky is waiting in the Rat Rod garage to reveal this week's entry in the Lincoln Winnemig competition, Gary Johnson's 27 Roadster. I love a man with a Lincoln and a wrench in his hand. That's how I roll. <laughs> in the new trailer for my motorcycle and was about to go out looking for one when I realized I gotta sell my old one. Good thing I found TrailerShopper.com. I can do both at the same time right from home. At TrailerShopper.com I can shop for a livestock trailer if I needed one, a race car, snowmobile, cargo, or even a horse trailer. Trust me, if you're looking to buy or sell any kind of trailer new or used, you can do it at TrailerShopper.com. And sellers, your first classified ad is free. Even free one ads. TrailerShopper.com got the ride now get the edge at summitracing.com find parts fast with customizable search options shop by keyword brand name make model and more plus find great deals in the saving central section get parts quick and easy with online checkout and fast shipping and get the job done right with helpful instruction sheets part suggestions and a huge tech huge tech archive it's all at summitracing.com your ultimate power tool Thanks, Laura. Good job, not bad for a first-timer. And thanks to Rat Rod Magazine for sending us the Tour Rat video. Now, if you haven't seen Rat Rod Magazine, it's a must-see. Check the racks worldwide or click on their link at ratrodtv.com. And one note on their build, uh, I would have widened the cab instead of narrowing the bed, but that's just me. The Essex build was stalled temporarily due to a lack of money. But we're back on track, and here's a quick preview of the motor and the monster transmission install. 
Here. This is the baddest thing to our car. This is a monster transmission. It's at you when it comes in there, and it's going to make this car move down the road. Let's go. See what they do? The trannies, have you seen it? Yeah. Ah! This is our monster converter. 2,800 to 3,000 stall converter. But after Monster took care of it, this should be one, one animal. I told you it was going to be quick because we have a very special entry in the Winamig competition sent to us by Gary Johnson at Dillon's Garage in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now feast your eyes on this. I bought the car approximately six months ago. The car turned out to be a full build, a frame up. Every piece of the car was uh, rethought, refabricated. Um, probably 95% of every piece of the car was fabricated by me. Uh, I got the car in a business deal. <laughs> uh, when I started the build, I started with the frame. I actually had to cut uh, about five inches off the front of the frame and uh, add another two inches to that. The frame was um, all tubed, so I went with uh, the different circumferences of tubes. Front suspension is your, I'm outside of the box when it comes to rat rods. Uh, I have a full digital air ride suspension on it by Ride Tech. Brakes, again, I'm outside of the box. I do my own thing, you know, I'm not a follower. I build things the way I want them. The headlights, the headlights were a new purchase through uh, SoCal. The grill, the grill is a 32 that I had chopped down. I had a custom radiator built for it because I do want to drive the car every day. For a, uh, for a small block V8 motor, um, you got to have proper cooling. The body is a 27 Roadster. It, it came with the car. Uh, the only thing with the body was is it basically would uh, fall off the car when I got it home. You could shake the whole car. So I put a full floor in it. Um, I ran my uh, spiderweb uh, theme f f as a uh, almost a support for the entire body. The motor is a 1955 Buick 264. They made the motor one year. Um, doesn't generate a lot of horsepower, but it's got a lot of nostalgia. It's got a uh, original Edmunds hand-scribed uh, manifold on it. I got the um, original uh, nail head uh, valve covers for it. The headers are uh, my own creation. Um, the headers are hand-built, inserted. I didn't want them so ear-piercing that I couldn't drive the car. It's pretty tough to pull up to my son's school and, uh, and make the racket they would make a straight pipe. So I inserted uh, Harley-Davidson baffles in each pipe. The floors are zebra wood, imported from Africa. Uh, I have a little bit of money in the floors. The floors were custom made by my cabinet maker. Um, the seats are hand-tooled leather which uh, represent the logo of Dylan's Garage, and Dylan's Garage is basically uh, my son, my six-year-old son, Dylan. If you don't enter, you can't win the Lincoln Power MIG right here. Well, we're out of time. We'll see you next week. Make full contact at ratrodtv.com. Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts, Chicago Pneumatics, pull the trigger, Ray Bestis, the best in brakes, seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin, by Monster Transmission, Eat My Shift. Cop Cams, Go Faster. By TrailerShopper.com, Buy, Sell, and Trade. By SummitRacing.com, and by Full Contact Wrench. Grip it, don't strip it. Here's one off, uh, I think it's our first CD. Second one? Second one. It's called Wungong Cat. Rip it.
it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it. Don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Grip it, don't strip it.